Hi, myself Uman Patel, MD, Making Doctors Organization. And today, it's a good news for all the 12 science students of Gujarat specifically. We have a special guest with us at the Making Doctors Organization office, Miss Yulia Ma'am. Uh, she is an uh, international student coordinator at Ingo State University. So today, there are so many students and parents worried about the, uh, the student's medical dream. Like after NEET exam, after 12th science exam, there are lots of students who pass with the good marks. But due to the lake seat in India, they are not able to get the admission in India. So there are opportunity in MBBS in Russia. We all know that more than 20,000 plus students are studying MBBS in Russia since last 20 to 25 years and India and Russia relation we all know that so today it's opportunity for all our student let's talk about something about the opportunity in Russia education system in Russia Ingo State University the government university with the lowest budget so we will not waste your time and we'll go to the Miss Yulia ma'am about the uh, like uh, what is the education system and uh, how Indian students, why, what is the reason behind that Indian students prefer education in Russia. So ma'am, uh, welcome uh, to the Making Doctors Organization and we uh, want to know that like uh, uh, what the Indian students, uh, why uh, Russian education is good for Indian students. Okay, uh, first thing, um, it's uh, our Russian universities are basically uh, running and uh, founded by government. So um, it's a very big building, very big campus. Uh, it's uh, very bad, uh, very new, very clean. So uh, big area around. So uh, it's uh, very comfortable for uh, students, uh, not only local students, but, uh, but also students abroad. So, so this is the opportunity for the students like like uh, they have the all government universities so no private university so government invested the lots of money to making the buildings making the hostels making the affiliated hospitals so all over the city there are lots of affiliated hospitals so for the students it's opportunity to, to live in the campus within the campus hostel is there within the campus there are hospitals also there and outside also there are more affiliated hospitals but the main thing is like the lowest fee we have to thank the russian government because the, in india when we ask for the like uh, semi government or the private university then it cost around start with the 7 to 15 lakh 16 lakh the basic fees per year and the russian government decided not charge more with the indian students so uh, like let's talk about the Ingo State University. This is the Ingo State University and this is the government federal budgetary university and this university's fees is only 1,80,000 rupees. So this is the benefit for the students who have the total budget not more than 15 to 20 lakhs. Their students also can get the benefit of Ingo State University. The dream for become a medical doctor it's come to you by the Ingo State Medical University. So uh, let's discuss with the ma'am also, like uh, uh, what do you think that like Indian students will comfortable in Russia, like uh, uh, whether the local people and Indian people there are any problems or uh, for the major problem like people are thinking about the uh, war situation also and sometimes the safety of girls. So what do you think about that? I think that everything is perfect now. I mean. Uh we are a big country, uh, in Russia there is no war, uh, everything is peaceful uh, currently, so uh, we have, it's a big country, we have beautiful nature, we have uh, good uh, many states uh, and in the state of this university it's uh, good weather, uh, very comfortable for students who especially come from uh, south part of the world and uh, food is also available everywhere like uh, all kind of food because many indian people live in uh, russia so they try to arrange uh, all kind of food that uh, indian people are used to so i don't think uh, indian people will face any problems right now so and uh, especially this region is uh, 
next to Georgia, so it's uh, like peaceful, good situation right now. I don't see any problems. And what about the girl safety? Because see, uh, the specifically girl child parents are worried about that. Like my daughter is safe whether she will be in Russia. Yes, of course. We are modern country. We are inside of in the middle of Europe, so the police are is everywhere. So it's uh, our priority to keep our international students students are safe. So nothing to worry about it. And uh, this is what we come uh, to know that like uh, the benefit of the Ingo State University is situated in Madras. The benefit of this is the region, it's uh, nearby the Caucasus mountain. One side is a uh, sea facing, so the weather is very beautiful. The weather, the benefit of weather, like you all know that in the medical terms, there is a two benefit of weather. One is because weather is same. If a sunny weather, if a weather with the 25 to 30 degree normal temperature, then you will get the disease, the similar disease to India. So this is also a benefit. Again, the second benefit for the Gujarati students is will get the vegetarian, vegetable foods. Because see, if the weather is sunny weather, then you will get the vegetable grains, everything over there. So this is again the second benefit of nearby the Caucasus mountain and this weather. And the third benefit is like students can easily comfortable settle down. So there is no minus 35 or something like this. So it's good to know that. Thank you, ma'am. You updated us about the weather. Uh, so students can easily decide like uh, if they want to go in a minus 35 degree temperature on the Tartistan, Kazan area or students want to come uh, or uh, students want to go to the Ingus, which is the good weather area. Again, the girl safety is there is no problem as ma'am said and I personally recommend and I personally seen that like the 60 to 70 percent of girls are working in the university, in the hospital, everywhere in Russia. So there is not at all any problem for girl students to go to the Russia. The one more important thing, what do uh, like uh, think that the India and Russia collaboration in culture or uh, the country between the two countries how you think that like people should think about like the students from India they went there so they are feeling like uh, that is not good for the local people or they are feeling what about the Indian and Russian uh, relation India and Russia have uh, very good relationships last I think 70 years yeah. so our people are very friendly with uh, Indian people especially so I there is no problems uh, in, in these kind of things. Yes. Yeah. And one more thing we want to know that like uh, we all know that like students uh, going to be study MBBS and the medical program is six year program. So it's a long journey for Indian students to stay there to learn the language, learn the culture and mix up with the Russian students and all. So during that six year like what kind of the support like you can provide to the making doctors organization students so if students are thinking like that if anyone there to support any time to the all the students so we can say that yes miss Yulia ma'am is always be there to support all the students yes, so what kind of the support you can provide to the students yes of course we provide all kind of supports like uh, information it's most important uh, information about food about uh, facilities about uh, your accommodation about uh, living in Russia so we are always like on call if you have any problems you can always contact us so we will always help you you do not worry about it thank you ma'am thank you this is the biggest thing we want to know that like if anyone in Russia to take care of our child then what else we want more than that so thank you ma'am uh, Miss Yulia ma'am always be there to support all of you so do not hesitate to send your child and for the student do not hesitate whatever you want whatever the support you want you start with the wage food start with the accommodation safety accommodation inside the campus accommodation your police registration your sim card your bank account your every year health insurance renewal your visa renewal your come back to india ticket during the vacation 
everything non academic and academic each and every help provided by ma'am and the team of making doctors organization so you can obviously choose ingo state university with the lowest budget 1.80 lakhs fees per year and the 15000 rubel only hostel fees per year it's a government college federal budgetary university and get the benefit of this university and make your dream come true to become a doctor thank you